Good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us tonight to, to talk about home and energy water conservation. Uh, my name is Eric Huerta. I am the communications coordinator here at SCOPE. And uh, if you haven't met me, chances are you've seen uh, some of the work that I do. If you follow us on our social media channels, uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you aren't following us on those channels yet, uh, just look us up, Scope LA, and uh, be sure to give us a like or a follow, and uh, you can keep up with some of the work we're doing in the community. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get into what we're here for tonight. Uh, we've been working with the Department of Water and Power here in Los Angeles um, to bring uh, the various resources and free programs that LADWP offers to their customers in order to help them save money on their bills, but also to conserve uh, the limited resources that we have in our state. We're currently undergoing our fourth year in this drought, and it's important that we all do our part uh, to make sure that we're not wasting resources, but to also be more conscious of our use, that it's everyday stuff like washing your, brushing your teeth uh, and leaving the, the sink running, uh, other items around our house that we might not think of uh, that I'll get into in this webinar. So we're just going to do this and try to do this in 10 minutes. Uh, I'll be guiding most. I'll be guiding the, this conversation through our PowerPoint, and we also have with us today a Scope member and DWP customer, uh, Ms. Maria Rutledge, who will be sharing her experience uh, going through one of these programs. And let's get this started. Uh, so quick background on SCOPE. We are a community uh, organization here in uh, South Los Angeles. We work with residents all over the city to improve neighborhoods, create job opportunities, and marketing and career, not marketing, and career training pipelines for folks to be on, uh, for folks who are unemployed, uh, and face uh, significant barriers to employment. We know that, uh, you know, sometimes education, uh, so many different things play into like what uh, goes into jobs that uh, a lot of times folks are left out because of the, something is missing or they have a, a record or anything like that. So we're working to make sure that folks in our community have access to quality jobs and uh, jobs in the uh, burgeoning green sector. <clears throat> so, uh, you can always more, learn more about us, as I mentioned earlier. You can go to our website, scopela.org, or uh, on our social media channels. And you can also follow along on some of the advocacy efforts that we're doing using the uh, social media hashtag, SustainSouthLA. So, let's get started here. Uh, we're gonna get talk. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk about. Not we. I am gonna talk about two water conservation programs offered by the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, um, and the Metropolitan Water District. The first one is turf replacement. So here's scope. Some of our members marching. Uh, um, so here's the the first program is cashing in your lawn. It's it's one of the more intensive programs that DWP offers to their customers. Um, it requires quite a few steps to make it happen, but uh, the overall goal is to have folks convert their lawns uh, from thirsty grass to California native water tolerant plants that will require one, less maintenance, so that means less work, yard work to do, and two, less water. So that means they're not taking up as much resources as uh, a regular lawn would. Um, the also thing about uh, the lawn program is you can get very creative with working with the designated space you have in your home. Um, I've seen some pictures of really beautiful uh, homes where folks have gotten uh, in touch with their, with their inner artists and uh, designed some beautiful uh, walkways and, and greenery um, that not only is aesthetically pleasing, but... Uh, it's right along the lines of like saving energy, saving water, being uh, drought conscious, and making sure that um, we aren't using up more resources than we have to. Uh, so as I mentioned, the program is a bit intensive. It takes uh, an attention to detail. 
uh, before anything, hands down, you have to have your lawn and your project approved uh, by LADWP before you move forward. Uh, you have to apply online. Uh, all the information is on LADWP's website. It's on our website, but you have to apply first. Uh, the application process will take about two weeks. You'll get approved. Once you're approved, you'll have 120 days uh, from approval to complete your project. And throughout this whole process, you'll need to be taking pictures of all the work you're doing, pictures before of your lawn, uh, and then pictures after of how things look. You also be need taking measurements of your square footage, uh, the rebate. It does depend on the, the, the square footage. And as you can see right here on the PowerPoint, we have a minimum of 250 square feet uh, and a maximum of uh, 1,500 square feet at a rebate of 375. And then after the 1,500, uh, you can go up to 3,000 square feet and you'll get a rebate of $2 per square foot. Uh, so it's good enough incentive to, to work at home, do a nice little project over the summer with the family, uh, convert your lawn to drought tolerant prints, uh, like we see right there, the California poppy, uh, the concha or succulents. Succulents are beautiful plants. Uh, um, you can visit the SoCal WaterSmart uh, website for the turf rebate application. Uh, they also provide assistance over the phone and online to help you guide through the process because it can be overwhelming at times. Uh, you'll need to create an account uh, through the website to keep track of everything. This is how DWP will know that you're, you're in the process of reconverting your lawn and help track your work along with getting you your rebate once everything is complete. Uh, um, again, you'll need to take photos. So make sure every all the photos are in color. Uh, you know, you can show the the expansiveness of your lawn nothing too detailed just like an overview of how so you get folks can see how big it is and what the changes you've made um <clears throat> uh once so once you receive approval you have 120 days uh take pictures of everything and once you submit the finished uh, pictures uh you'll go through the application process again you'll have to use the account that you created uh to track everything you'll be guided through the rebate process and it will take a little bit of time but uh, there there's always help and assistance um, through the websites uh, and over the phone to make sure that everything is going in the proper order <clears throat> so if you're more interested in the cash in your lawn program the turf rebate you can go to www.ladwp.com slash cf for full details and more and further help on, uh, on getting assistance on, on converting your lawn. As you can see right here, here's the website. There's the phone number. You can choose option one and also an email to get a hold of SoCal Water Smart. All right, so let's talk about continuing to save water in your home. Uh, aerators, faucet aerators in your kitchen and your bathroom go a long way in saving water in the long run. Um, I have a kitchen aerator and not only am I saving water, but it's also pretty convenient because uh, the nozzle can can move around. So it, when I'm washing dishes, it helps me uh, get into those larger pots and pans that are kind of awkward sometimes when you have a small sink. Uh, but on an average, uh, most faucets use about two gallons uh, of water a day, which can add up to 900 gallons a year. So with the aerators, you can cut back your water use to one or one and a half gallons and uh, substantially downsize your use of water uh, on everyday things like just washing your hands, washing dishes, brushing your teeth, things like that. <clears throat> with shower heads, it's the same deal. You can replace your shower head for one that's uh, using less water. And with your shower head, you'll be able to save an average of 5,300 gallons a year, which is a lot of water given that, uh, you know, we, we take showers almost on a daily basis, especially now that summer's coming. Uh, so imagine if you can take a, a quick two, three, five minute shower, and then you have a uh, an aerator or a shower head that it's even saving more water. So it's a combination that adds up really quick and making sure that 
uh, we're being mindful of the water we're using. <clears throat> and again, these are free. These are provided by LADWP. Uh, you can call the 1-800 number right there on the screen uh, to find out how you can get more. You can email them, or you can also visit your nearest uh, customer service center. They have them there as well. And if they don't, they'll be able to provide you uh, with assistance in getting them to your home, and they're completely free. So if you are, uh, if you haven't taken advantage of them already, you should. Uh, I, I can't recommend them enough. <clears throat> Uh, since we're still talking about water, let's move into the bathroom. Uh, toilets. Uh, we all have them. <laughs> we all use them. Uh, but in some of our homes, we have some of the older uh, water guzzling toilets that use up uh, more gallons per flush than they need to. So it's a state law that uh, all toilets have to be low flow. So that means using about one and a half gallons per flush. Um, so saving about an average of 21 gallons of water per day, as you can see. So through DWP, you can, if you have an old toilet, um, you can get a rebate for up to $150 when you replace it to a new low flow toilet. Again, as with like the turf removal program, um, there are some steps and attention to details that need to be mindful of. Um, for one, uh, be sure to go to the LADWP website. Uh, LADWP.com slash RWR to make sure that your toilet, if you're purchasing it, purchasing it from a Home Depot or from a hardware supply store, um, is one of the toilets that meets their criteria for the rebate program. The, the rebate list is not that big. So if you are in the in the market for, you know, uh, replacing your old toilet, go to the website uh, or call the phone number and make sure that the the toilet you get is one that is that qualifies for the rebate, so it can help you offset some of the cost. <clears throat> so again, ladwp.com slash rwr for further information on the toilet conversion, the rebate, and the list of toilets that qualify for the rebate program. <clears throat> okay, so we talked about some water, now let's get into uh, saving energy. Uh, one of the bigger programs offered by LADWP is their both the, their refrigerator exchange and their recycling program. Uh, again, it comes into an issue of old uh, appliances still running, uh, and just because they're old and they're still working doesn't mean they're they're at their maximum output, if you will. In fact, uh, any appliance that's usually older tends to use up more energy or water, depending what it is, than it needs to. So uh, current refrigerators are ENERGY STAR rated. They use less energy. They're more efficient. They're more practical. Um, so it's convenient if you're in the market for replacing your refrigerator or if you have an extra refrigerator um, to recycle it in an environmentally friendly way. Uh, I know we see a lot of a lot of dumping of furniture and refrigerators and things in our community where folks just leave them out on the sidewalks or in alleys. Um, that's not the correct way to dispose of things. Um, for one, we can call 311 and the city can come pick it up and they'll recycle it. But with LADWP, you they not only come and pick it up for you and recycle it for free, but you can also get some money back that'll go into your account. <clears throat> you can get $50 back. Uh, if you recycle your refrigerator uh, with the exchange program, your refrigerator has to, again, meet a certain criteria and be eligible for that program. And if it is, you can check online again. You can get money back and you can get your refrigerator uh, replaced with uh, one that's newer and energy efficient. So for that, you would want to go to LADWP.com forward slash L-I-R-E-P. Or you can call 1-800-388-6642. And again, this information is on our website. It's on the LADWP website. And if you're a customer, you can just go to your customer service center or next time you're online paying your bill or you're talking to somebody, they can provide you with that information if you, if you need more details or assistance. <clears throat> okay. Now, Let's say you're not sure where to start on your home and you just want a full inspection of your apartment uh, or your house. Um, you know, you've already taken advantage of the aerators. You have a low flow toilet. 
your uh, refrigerator is, is newer, so it's not consuming that much energy, but uh, you still feel there's more you can do around your house. So this is where the Home Energy Improvement Program comes in. Uh, the, pro the HYPE program, uh, it, it's, you have to sign up for it online, you have to apply, uh, have to set up an appointment for DWP representatives to come to your home uh, and pretty much survey your home and then uh, take action on uh, whatever they can do to fix things here and there. But I will let Miss Maria Rutledge uh, talk more about that in depth with her experience as she participated in this program. Ms. Rutledge, would you please share your story with us? Yes, Eric, I would love to. Uh, I, I was very concerned that my floor heater wasn't working and uh, I needed to get it repaired. And luckily, DWP uh, was uh, real good timing when they called and they offered to do a complete uh, checkup for my, uh, my house for energy saving assessment. And um, I, of course, did not believe that they were going to give me this complete energy assessment for free. So I called my husband first and told him what the offer, what, the, what I was being offered. And I didn't really believe that it was DWP. There are so many people out there trying to scam elderly people. And so then uh, I called Scope because I know that Scope works with uh, DWP and uh, that uh, they know things that, uh, that they're working with. And it uh, happens to be that they told me that it was uh, true, that uh, this was a, a home energy conservation uh, program that they had going on. And uh, I allowed them to come. I made them an appointment. I was very impressed to see that uh, the trainer, the journeyman, the very experienced um, leader uh, had about um, five young men training them how to do the assessment in my house. And they just went all over in the attic, in the basement, uh, uh, be under my house, and uh, everywhere. and took a note of everything that, that they thought would help me in the, regarding my energy. They discovered one thing that I had no clue, that uh, I was in such danger. They discovered that my uh, floor heater was completely corroded. Under, under the house, when they went to do their, uh, their assessment, they discovered that uh, it was corroded. My, I've been living in this house over 50 years. And I really, you know, have done some work, but I just don't, didn't ever think that uh, the heater would be having that kind of a problem. It turns out that uh, it was so corroded that if I had turned it on, it would have been major. I could have had a fire, could have had an explosion, I could have had uh, so many things that could have, uh, negative things that could have happened because. Uh, that was so corroded and uh, it was very dangerous for me. I was very blessed to know that uh, they had that they took it out. They, they took it to their to wherever they work at and fixed it, and brought it back and installed it. And now I feel very very safe. And I know that everything that they looked at and uh, that I know that everything's doing right. Another thing that they checked was my uh, my water heater, and I didn't seem to have the proper ventilation, so they so they fixed that for me. I feel very blessed, and I feel very um, honored to have been picked to have this service in just the nick of time. I tell you, timing is everything. Thank you again, Ms. Rutledge, for sharing your story with us. Um, as you can see, it's simple as that. Um, some of these services can go a long way in our aging homes. Uh, sometimes it can be uh, pre uh, preventative of something that could have gone worse. Um, so it's it's all about that regular maintenance and being sure that uh, our appliances, uh, things that we have around our home are always working functionally and at their peak. So that way they're not using more resources than they need to. And if they are, we can catch it in time 
before it becomes a bigger issue. <clears throat> so uh, I hope most of y'all found the information here uh, useful. If you haven't taken advantage of any of these resources or programs, please uh, go to our website, go to DWP's website. Um, if you need assistance, we can help you in, in getting uh, signed up for some of these programs. They're free. Uh, take advantage of them. There, there's no cost to you. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about saving money on your bill, but also saving resources. And the, the more resources we save, the less impact it has in our state uh, in terms of using water and energy and how uh, we get those resources. So if we all contributed our part and did our thing, uh, all those little bits would add up in the bigger picture to something uh, where we won't uh, be in such a state of emergency because of a drought. So again, you can go to our website, uh, scopela.org forward slash sustain South LA. And we have all of these programs there and more listed. Uh, you can find more energy saving tips. You can also participate in the Mayor's Save the Drop LA campaign. Uh, they're doing outreach and, and getting out information on programs and uh, different, you know, things we can all do around the, uh, our home to save water. And you can find more information about that on the mayor's website at www.lamayor.org forward slash save the drop LA. So, again, thank you once again for joining us. Uh, we hope to see you soon. And... I uh, hope you have a great day.